Hey guys, Daniel from Roland and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the driver and update the firmware for your DJ202. Let's get started. So first you're going to go to the Roland.com website. I'm in the US so it's taking me already to the US page. What I'm going to do is take my mouse, I'm going to hover over products. I'm going to go to the era and DJ tab. Some people pronounce it Ira. There's no right or wrong way to say it. We're going to hit the DJ202 product. And as we land on the product page, we're going to scroll about a quarter ways down. We're going to see this line right here. And what we're going to do is go to the downloads tab. We're going to click that. And we're going to see a couple things that we need. I'm on a Mac. I'm on OS X. And if you're curious about where to find the version of OS X, on my computer, what I'm going to do right now is hit the Apple icon. I'm going to click about this Mac and it's going to tell me the version right here beneath the code name of whatever version of OS X you've installed. Now I'm on the latest version of Mojave as of this video which is 10.14.5 which means that I'm going to need to download this driver here. If you're on Windows 10 and you're wondering why is my installer blank, that's because Windows 10 automatically installs the driver. So if you're on Windows 10, you don't have to worry about installing a particular driver. As long as you're not behind a firewall, Windows 10 is automatically going to install the driver for you. And I'm going to go here to the DJ202 driver for Mac OS 10.13 and 10.14 because, again, I'm on Mojave. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Again, I'm going to assume that we've read the end user license agreement, and I'm going to download the file. I'm going to click that file to get my installer, double click the installer, and then we will be ready to go. I'm going to go through this process. So now that my DJ202 is installed, I'm going to have to click the Apple icon, then go into System Preferences, and here where it says Security and Privacy, I'm going to click that. And as I'm here on security and privacy, if I haven't installed this driver previously, it's going to click Allow Roland Corporation to install the driver. Now, this is really important because if you don't do this by the time this installation here finishes, your driver is actually not going to get installed onto your machine. So again, if you have High Sierra or Mojave, so 10.13 or 10.14, you're going to need to make sure that you go into security and privacy and hit allow in a time frame before this installation was successful message shows up here on your computer. So now that I've got to this point and I've clicked allow to install the driver onto my machine, what I'm going to do now is restart the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. And I'm going to click restart. So now that I've restarted my computer, the driver installation is complete. So now I've upgraded the firmware, installed the driver. Now the next thing we need to know is how to install Serato and how to get around in Serato. And we're going to find out in the next video.